Hello everyone, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to create rain out of nothing, just like I've done here. Let's go quickly. I'm going to start from scratch. Here we go. We've got an image here loaded up. We've got a guy with an umbrella open and there's no rain. Whatever, Harry Poppins, why do you have this? I don't know. Okay, the first step, we're going to go up here. We're going to go to Layer New and we're going to go ahead and we're just going to create a new layer. So I'm just going to create a new layer, call it Layer 1. It doesn't really matter. Then I'm going to go up here to Edit Fill. And here's the thing, I want to fill it with black. So I hit this little down arrow, fill with black. Click on OK. Now we've got a black layer. Good. Now we're going to go up here to filter and we're, we've got a couple of options. But the one that I think we're going to go with on this one is go to filter, render, and we're going to go to fibers. Yeah, fibers. Eat your fiber, everybody. Keeps you regular or something like that. And then under fibers, we're going to go with a variance of 26 and a strength of 6. You can, of course, adjust this if you decide in the future you want more or less. Uh, I'm going to go with this and then click on OK. And when I do that, presto, we've got a pretty cool looking um, white screen here, but it's not quite where we want it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go up here to image and I actually just want to basically make it a little bigger. So let's just go ahead to go to edit we're going to go to transform and then we're going to go to scale. And when you go to scale, you're going to see up here W and H. Obviously that's width and height. I'm going to increase the width to 300 and the height to 300. It does it automatically because they're chained together. Okay. Or they're linked together. So there we go. We've gone ahead and increased the width and the height. So we've got this sort of white screen of noise here. Now clicking on that layer, we're going to change the blending mode from normal to screen and once we do that now you can sort of see where we're going with this okay good now we got to do a couple final adjustments the first one I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and create a levels effect so I'm gonna click on this create new fill or adjustment layer here the little half circle and then I'm gonna go to levels click on levels and then before I start making any adjustments I'm gonna create a clipping mask and the way to do that is you hold down the option key on a Mac or the alt key on a PC and when you do that, if you hover over these line right here between the two layers, you'll see the little down uh, triangle or down arrow and the square there. Click on that, and now we've got a basically we've got a clipping mask. Now, when you do that, you're going to have the levels open here, and what you want to do is you want to pull this black slider far to the right. So we're going to pull it quite a bit, something like that. Maybe we don't want this to we want this to be pretty subtle effect. So maybe we'll pull it in something. Again, you can adjust this later, but maybe something like that. Let's just oversell the effect a little bit. Okay, good. It's looking good. Now we've gone ahead and made the adjustments to the levels. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to filter. Oops, pardon me. I made a mistake. I'm going to click on this middle layer here, the one with the white screen on it, so to speak, with the white noise. Go to filter. We're going to go to blur. And then we're going to go to motion blur and we basically just want to add in a little bit of a blur to this so i'm going to go ahead and change the angle to let's go with uh yeah let's go a little more we're going to go with an angle of 50 let's go with a 60 angle and we're going to go with a distance of 10. again keep in mind you can always adjust this later but there we go we're going to go with something like that and we've added in a little bit of a blur to the rain which is realistic because the rain would be coming down pretty quick and there would be a slight blur to it Okay, good stuff. So we've kind of got it where we want it, but not quite. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on the middle layer here, layer one, and this, uh, the top layer, then I'm going to select them both, right click, and then I'm going to group them. And the reason why we're doing this is we're just going to call it group one, it doesn't matter, because I'm going to duplicate this group and then watch. When I duplicate it, we get double the uh, effect. So it's basically on top of each other, which might be what you're going for, but probably not. But what you can do now is you can select one of the groups, like I'm going to select the top group, and then I'm going to hold down and I'm going to go ahead and adjust it. So what I'm going to go up here is I'm going to go to, let's go edit, transform. Well, let's go to free transform. There we go. Edit. So if you didn't see what I just did there, I'll do it again. I'm going to click on the top group. And then basically you want to make sure that your transform or your free transform is open. Command T. Now I'll zoom in again and I'm just going to go ahead and change it up a bit and I'm going to change the direction. So basically I just want it to look a little bit more organic so it's not all the same. And you can see here as I move it that it has that little bit more organic look to it. And then presto, once you've got it where you kind of like it, hit enter. 
And now we'll just zoom in a little bit and see what we got. Oh, it might take a second, pardon me, uh, because it is pretty uh, intensive. So yeah, we're zooming in, it's looking pretty good. Now, the last thing you can do if you choose is you can add a Gaussian blur to this, or alternatively, if it's a little bit too strong of an effect, just tone down the opacity a little bit. So I'll take it down to like 70%. And then on this one, I'll take it down to 70%, let's say something like that, 71%, yeah, 70%. And now look, we've got rain on a sunny day. That's it, guys. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching.